stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I'm on you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows Okay, maybe you could be the change I need today. I promise that I'm never fell this way. I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain. I know you told your friend you're not okay. What's going on, everybody? Just got back in from the Salem card show in Salem, Indiana. Very good show overall. Um picked up a few things. We'll go through all that stuff there. Was getting pretty crowded. They had a, I don't know what you want to call it. It deals with the farming out there, but like a pig contest going on. Believe it or not, guys, if you're single, head out there. There's some women out there that are very attractive. And women, if you're watching this, there's some cowboys out there probably for you too. But other than that, pretty good show overall. Um, he always does put on a good show. He can never control what his dealers bring in, but he makes sure... That everybody gets notifications, you know, about the show. If it's being packed for parking, how to come in because they have other events going on. So I really applaud uh, somebody who's hosting the show or promote being the promoter for the show. Putting that kind of information out directly to everybody. It helps out tremendously when you're trying to come in. So picked up from three different individuals out there. Um, one thing I will say about the show, I was talking with two other people there. And there were a lot of people that if the last sale was 130, they wanted 150, and there was always a reason. It was serial number, the very first one, it's number one. Oh, it's jersey number. And they wouldn't even budge. Wouldn't even come down to the last sold value. So, I mean, like we've talked about out there, they're either out there for a show and tell or just, you know, I don't we couldn't figure it out. It's just really odd. Been really happy with the deals I did pick up today, so we're going to go through them. We'll talk a little bit about them. First one up, Fast Break Auto, Jason Williams. Picked this up from one dealer. Uh, I thought about grading it. I'm just like, eh, I don't want to grade it. I don't know why. Just one of those things. Plus, if I set everything out to be graded and I miss a show without having certain things, it might go later on down the road or something. But as of right now, just one of those things I'll use for a show later on. Next one was a bulk deal. I can't remember what I paid for it now. But uh, one thing I will tell you guys, whenever you start buying cards, you try to do your best out there, finding everything until you get home underneath the lights and everything, you'll find other flaws. So don't ever think when you go to the show, you're going to have all these keen eyes to where you're going to find everything and everything's going to be a 10 when you bring home. It does not happen. This, for example, Scotty Barnes, Red Pulsar, picked it up. They sell for 20 bucks. Didn't know that. And there's a little blemish. You can't see it on through here at all. It's real funny. It's right up in this area here. So it'll probably end up going off with my stuff to DC Sports for them that can sign out. But like I said, you can't win them all. Um, a lot of these I'm thinking are going to be nines coming back. But we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll hit a couple tens out of them. Got them at a good price. Um, looked up the values of nines and it made sense. Trey Lance, we know he's going to be starting right now without Purdy, so a die-cut red-yellow rookie. I like I said, this stuff was really, really cheap, so I picked it up. Brock Purdy, orange, whatever they call it. Uh, um, this is out of the retail stuff, so picked that one up. And then also a Trey Lance uh, rated rookie blue hyper. I know that's another retail. Figured I'd grab a couple of them for beginning of football season. If they come back graded well, we'll hold off till, uh Rated it towards the end of preseason, and then probably start moving them with through DC. Look at that, Trevor Lawrence rookie phenoms jersey piece out of Ockpick. That was pretty cool. 
I mean, like I said, a lot of stuff out there was cheap. Very what the heck today. Out of Immaculate, out of 99, Trevor Lawrence again. Just a little Jersey shadow box action. This is out of 2022. Everybody keeps on saying that I hear and I've known for a long time this guy's going to be really good this year. We'll see what happens. I figured pick a couple pieces up here or there. There were no autos of them out there. There was no autos of like Herbert, Bo Burrow. Mm, no Hall of Famers like Montana, Rice, Marino, Elway. I mean, I'm telling you guys, it's kind of slim pickets when you start looking for Hall of Fame autos out there. So, I had to go with what I could go with. But, I did find one guy. He we I thought we've done deals before, but I guess we never have. I really thought about this on the way back. But, Kyle, I appreciate the deals today. Um, I ended up missing one of the cards. And when I was back here uh, talking with a friend of mine, Steve, I ended up seeing it. And I picked the other card up. I'll show you. He had Hall of Famers. Most of this all basketball guys. These Isaiah Thomases, I'm pretty sure are gonna probably get like PSA eights, but there's so much of a story between this Hall of Famer um, and Jordan and stuff. I figure I get them. You don't see a whole lot of Isaiah Thomas autos around here at least. So this one here is older, nine ten, and what's gonna kill this one? Just so you guys can see, it does have whiting on the corners because of the blueness. I'm predicting an eight if it comes back a nine woohoo type deal, but. Just for the peace of mind, being a Hall of Famer auto, I will slab these at the cheap rate just for myself. It probably won't add much to value unless it gets a 9 or higher on it. Okay, up next, this is really cool. David Robinson, I know he's off sticker. I know, I know, but it's the gold uh, 10. You don't really see a whole lot of David Robinson autos out there. If it's 10s, wow, it's going to be nice. Um, Relatively... Very decent on prices. The only thing we could find was the gold dominator. It sold for 120 on this. So got that. Magic Johnson Optic. I think this is 2122. 2122. No, 2021 auto. Really clean on the front. Figure we'll give it a shot, see what happens on to it. Tony Parker Flux Auto. Don't really see a whole lot of Tony Parker stuff out there either. Another great um player for the game of basketball out there this is 2021 flux probably going to be a nine on to it but like again and the last one was Hilakim Olajuwon just picked up putting a deal figured probably be uh something that might either grade down the road or possibly use as a trade I know some guys that really collect him so hopefully that all turns out to be but that's it, guys. Real quick from the show. Like I said, it wasn't like anything crazy, crazy out there that I could purchase. There was a couple cards I was interested in, but I knew the pricing was way over. And when I heard conversations with other people next to me, I just moved on. And that's the thing, guys. You know, everybody's welcome to put whatever price tag they want on. If you're not happy, just walk by. Just keep walking till you find what you're looking for out there. Sometimes you may have to pony up, um, you know, if it's a hard card to find, and especially if it's graded, auto, and all that stuff out there. Just got to sometimes pony up on it, you know, if you really want it for your collection. But uh, overall, like I said, I was happy going out there. Got to pick up some deals out there. Got to talk to some people out there. Um, really some nice, cooler vintage out there and everything. Just the table was really packed, and I didn't want to bug the guy. Plus, I wanted to get back a little bit early. Today's the Kentucky Derby going on. But other than that, guys, appreciate you watching the video. No show next weekend. I believe the following weekend we will be up at the J&J All-Star Show. I'm um, buying up there. You guys will get to see, I've already seen the video clip in the beginning of everything through there that I could find. Um, the following weekend is Memorial Day weekend. I just know there is two shows that weekend. We'll probably maybe go out to Lexington. I don't know yet. And then we will be geared up for the Derby City Card Show set up on the first Saturday. I think it's the 3rd of June. And we turn right around for the Midwest Monster. Not setting up, just going up there the 9th and 10th. So a lot of busy weekends coming up. Um, only this next weekend won't be much going on, so I'll be relaxing and probably sorting as always. But appreciate everybody watching the videos out there. You guys have a good one. I am out.